Salutare, prieteni și la mulți ani români! Astăzi ne aflăm în sala Dinamo alături de Javi Pascual, antrenorul dulăilor de la Hamal la CS Dinamo, înaintea partii de retur cu vis la ploc din EHF Champions League. Hello, Javi Pascual. Uh, how do you prefer to be called? Javi Pascual, Mr. Coach? Oh, Chavi Paschi. Mai vet... Much better Paschi because it's uh, something that they use in handball and for me and for the players I think that it's better. Uh, I will start, start directly with the game against with Aplog, then we'll split the interview in two parts. Tell me please how do you see this game? Well, uh, all the games in Champions League are yeah, very difficult to win, no? And in addition if you play away more difficult. But uh, I think that the team is uh, is ready. Uh, we have chance to win against everyone, uh, and this is something that, uh, in my opinion, I'm very happy because the mentality of the team in this case is changing. Uh, we don't have a threat about uh, anyone, but uh, we have a lot of respect to to everyone. No, and doesn't matter the competition, doesn't matter the opponent. We need to put our focus in in us. Do you think if you win this game in Poland, the team is already qualified to the next phase of the competition? Ma, no, mathematically, but uh, it's important to take two points more as soon as possible because uh, to have nine points it's it's important. But uh, in this group, uh, all can happen. Uh, in this moment, Porto doesn't have points, but they will receive all the play, all the teams at, away at home in the second turn, and they can take eight nine points. Uh, no easy, but they can do it. Uh, because in addition, for example, there is a team that they have a lot of experience, but uh, I am not worried for this. I only put the focus in these two points again, block, and we will see what happens in the future. I would like now to talk to your handball career in uh, Romania. You came here in 2016 as a coach for the national team. Do you remember back then who convinced you to come uh, to take this job? Well, it was... Uh... <laughs> A little strange, no, because uh, I had a uh, relation with uh, Marius and also as a friend of mine and uh, with um, Alex Dedu and one day they called me and I thought that I don't understand this but after this uh, they called me sometimes I thought that could be a good option uh, to, to have a new experience. I think that in the life it's important to have new experience and I think that in this period I, I did a lot of friends here and uh, well, for the reason I, am coming, I coming, came back. No? In the same time you were coaching also Barcelona. How was for you to coach two different teams in two different countries? Well, I th think that the handball is an international language. No? Uh, you need to, to be coach. If you are a handball coach, you are a handball coach, no handball coach of one team. Uh, you must adapt your model. What uh, do you think with your players that you have in the in the teams? No, and it was uh, for me. It was an experience amazing when I came back. Uh, I came here the first time because uh, a lot of players I didn't know them, and they they teach me a lot of things. And uh, I think that it was a, an amazing experience. <laughs> When I came back to Barcelona, I was uh, in Barcelona with the focus in Barca, no? And it's the same now. It could be in the same country, but uh, if you are in the national team or if you are in Dinamo, it's not the same. It's absolutely different. For me, it's not, it's not a problem. Um, your first spell at uh, Romania finished in 2018. You came back in 2021. You still are the coach of the national team. How would you compare these two periods as a Romanian national team coach? Well, in the first period, uh, the game it was uh, easy. Uh, always uh, Barca um, accept that I was a coach, but they know that if we decide don't follow with the national team, is something that in the federation, the Romanian federation, they must accept. This is what happened. Uh, but it was a good period for me, and I think that it was very, very important for for uh, for for me in this moment. No, and now is is different. No, I think that the the Romanian handball is in evolution. Uh, I think that there are a lot of people working. We need to f to follow in this in this way to adapt a little our handball to what happens in in Europe. And I have uh, confidence in the guys that they are working now with me in the national team. 
12 years at Barcelona, 50 trophies, three Champions League titles. Why Dinamo? Why not? Who convinced you to leave Barcelona after so many years, so many trophies, and to come here, start a new project in a new country? It's not a question about who convinced me. It's a question about the individual motivation that you have. No, uh, it's the, there are moments in the life that you need to to change your your philosophy or to change to to looking for new chance and this is what uh, happened. Appear uh, this and above all for me the, the key person was uh, the president when he came to Barcelona directly and he spoke to me. Um, I thought that okay is an option but uh, at the moment that Yonuts uh, came uh, and I, uh, he showed me that really they want uh, to, to start uh, a new project and for this reason I am here. Before coming here in 2016, did you know anything about Romanian handball, Dinamo Bucharest? No, evidently. Uh, one thing is uh, to know Romanian handball is for all the people who knows handball, knows that uh, Romania it was very important in the past in the uh, world in handball. No? Uh, they won a lot of titles and uh, probably they was uh, one of the best countries in, the, in these moments, no? And uh, uh, I always tell you, tell to the people that the, my first book that I read, it was a Romanian book, no? And this is something that uh, for the coaches when, when I started, the coaches that we started, for example, in Spain, everybody read this kind of books, no? And this is important. Uh, Romanian uh, is in the world uh, of handball. It's not a country who they didn't play handball. It's the opposite. Uh, in my opinion, they started the development of handball, but uh, now I think that we must do something to put the Romanian country in the top again. What is the name of the book? The, I didn't remember the name, uh, but it's, uh, it was translated to French because I didn't understand Romanian, <laughs> French a little, and I didn't remember, but it was one book uh, that someone uh, gave me a present, uh, I think one month ago, but I didn't remember the name. In 2023, you will have two years in charge of Dinamo. How would you describe, how would you describe your first experience outside Spain at a club? Well, I think that uh, when I arrived here, uh, uh, a lot of things uh, was different. Um, for me, it was a, no a shock because the experience that I had with the national team, I knew that what, what kind of things I can find here. And there are good things and there are other things that I am not agree. And uh, this is what try, I am trying to, to change. No? But uh, I think that our develop is correct. What kind of things don't you agree? Oh, for example, uh, I don't understand how I, the coach doesn't have an office or doesn't have one uh, space for the video to be more professionals. No, these kind of things in the club and fast uh, when I arrived, the club uh, really they they put these uh, these tools. No, because there are tools, but not only for humble. It's for for everyone. Uh, now this uh, video is used for all the coaches in Dynamo, and it's something good for us. No, no it's not for humble. It's a question about you need to adapt our our sport to the to the reality. One title, one cup, one super cup. Do you think you could have done better in this period? Never, never. Uh, the, uh, to win one title before to play, this is a disaster. Never, never. No, I am happy with uh, what we did, and evidently we made uh, mistakes, but we made good things. And a sport, it's important uh, when you make one mistake to to put one step in front, to to try to looking for the solutions for this. And I think that in this moment we are better than one year ago. Uh, what is your project here uh, uh, for uh, Europe? Do you think this team can reach maybe a final four within one, two years from now? Uh, I think that uh, the people don't understand what is Champions League really. No, To be in final four, in, could be in the next 10 years it's impossible. Could be. Because there are monsters in front of us, no? But uh, sometimes it's a sport and you can you can take these things, no? 
But for us, for example, to think that we are trying to enter in the eliminatories now, it's amazing. Uh, and this is uh, what we must think. We must think always in the next step. Uh, and uh, I think that everybody wants to, to enter in Final Four, but if you can ask to Kilche, Barca, Plok, uh, PSG, uh, all work, uh, the Norway team that he appears now, the Romania, uh, the Romanian, the German teams, Kiel, Flensburg, Magdeburg. It's not only three teams. Uh, when we are speaking about the final four, we are speaking about to entry to be one of the four best teams in Europe. In this moment, we are not. We don't have this capacity. In the future, we will see. Never uh, can say no. But it's complicated. What do you think, in your opinion, uh, Romanian handball misses the most in uh, this moment? I think that uh, the, the handball that we are playing here is a little different than uh, we play in, in Europe. No, uh, I think that in Europe there are more rhythm. Um, the teams, they are running a lot. Uh, and the criteria that they are putting in the game are different and this is something that we must adapt. Uh, above all, this is important for our players in the national team because when we play in the, in the, in the national competitions with the uh, national teams, in the international competitions, uh, we have a problem for the rhythm because uh, sometimes these criteria are against us. No? I think that we are trying to adapt these criteria to what we are uh, finding in Europe and uh, we will see. In this moment, Dinamo has won the last six titles. You are heading toward the seventh. Do you think the Romanian Championship, Liga Zimbrilor, is too easy for Dinamo in this point? Well, this is the same question that you can put to Barcelona for the Liga Soval, you can put to the Paris in uh, France, you can put also to Kilce in Poland, eh, or eh, for the Hungarian clubs in, in, in Hungary. No? Uh, I think that always is a question about the periods on time. No? Uh, here now uh, Dynamo is dominating the league, but this could change. Uh, why not Constanza or why not Esteaua or why not other club by Amare can, can take this during one period? No, this is something that in Europe uh, happens in the countries. No, but uh, if it's easy, I think that the, the rules that they are putting make more problems. But it's not a question to be easy, it's a question about um, if our humble deserve to be to win. No, uh, for me, the most important is the team play good and uh, I never think that if one game is easy or not because when you are thinking that this game is easy it will be the most complicated game that you have in front. Um, what kind of rules don't you like it in Romanian handball? Uh, for example this uh, rule that they put about the three Romanians in the, at the same time in the floor for me is something that I can't understand. Why? No, uh, I understand that it's necessary to protect the Romanian players. Yes, but it's necessary that these players take level, <laughs> and um, this is one thing. The, in my opinion, when you are trying to change the things with punishments, it's not the best way. I think that you need to change the things with the education, not with the punishments. No, the punishment is a consequence when you are trying to change something. And this is what I think. Oh, for example, uh, one team as us, uh, we have three, play three Romanian players on the court every time, but why I can't play with six? No, you can play with six, yes, but at the moment that I put only two or only one, someone tell me, hey, hey, hey. No, it's, for me, I think that this is a, a rule who must change a little to grow up our humble. But I understand that there are people that think different, eh? but in my opinion, this is humble, it's not mathematics. Do you think this uh, rule of playing uh, three Romanian players at the same time can have positive consequences on the national team, to improve the national team? For me, no. You mentioned Baia Mare, Steaua, Constanza. Do you think uh, one of these teams can fight side by side uh, with Dinamo for the title, for the cup? Of course. Uh, we won one game in Baia Mare by one. And in the last uh, moment, and uh, Constanza played here one month ago, amazing, no? They can win the game, why not? Uh, um, the people always uh, is thinking that uh, the games are winning, uh, you win the games before to play. 
No, no. This is a sport. Uh, this is a sport. If it's not a sport, no one wants to practice or the sport is don't like to the people. But it's important for us to understand that we want to respect to everyone. And then when they play against us, we need to put our 100% every time. 12 years in Barcelona, you came to Romania. Uh, was there any things that shocked you in the first place? Maybe conditions, training facilities, things like, things like this. Ah, it's different, but uh, when you are in Barca, you are in the best club in the world. And always that you change, uh, it's difficult to find the same uh, facilities that you had there. No? But uh, I think that we have good facilities, so we are improving the facilities. Evidently, we need to, to, to do more things, but in this moment, I think that we are developing in this, in this way, and I am, I am happy what uh, we have in this moment. For the second part of our interview, we switched places. I would like to talk to you about now your life in uh, Romania. Uh, you stay here for like four years. In total, how did you find life in our country comparing to Barcelona, to Spain? Well, I think that is uh, it's amazing. <laughs> I live here, amazing, you know, in Bucharest, uh, for me, it's a big city. I know other cities. Uh, I think that it's a country that probably the people doesn't know exactly who is Romania, where is Romania and what kind of things they are in Romania, no? Because, uh, for example, a lot of friends that I have, when they come, they are telling me, hey, this is not what I am thinking, no. But what was the impact on your life and on your family life when you moved to, to, from Spain to Romania? Well, I am a professional. Uh, it's my profession, no. Uh, and then if I need to go to Romania, I go. Uh, my family always, my wife will be with me. And in this case, Alex uh, came because uh, I want to, to sign him for the team. And... Um, I think that the, the family adapt and understand my, my decisions is not a, not a problem. Uh, do you know the language? A little. How hard or how easy was to learn it? But I think that it's a question about the, the mentality. For me, to, to learn Romania, it's something normal. If I am living here, I can understand, I want to understand to everyone. I can speak, but evidently not with the fluence that I would like, but uh, it's something that I can have, a, I think, a normal conversation. Do you remember your first Romanian word? No, in this moment, but uh, there are a lot of words now, no, no problem. Please tell me one difference between Barcelona and Bucharest and one team that is the same in both cities. Uh, one difference, to change the lake for the beach, is the big difference, no? For me, between Bucharest and Barcelona, because we, we live in Casteldefels. Casteldefels has an amazing beach, and for us, it's something that we miss. It. But uh, ah, we are okay, no, no problem. And I think that is the same in both uh, cities? The same in both cities, about? No, I think that uh, Bucharest is, uh, is different to Barcelona, no? Um, um, I think that here you can do what you want. It's a city that you have a lot of things to do also. But Barcelona is, is, uh, is my place. It's uh, a little... Yes, it's my house uh, also. It's my home. And uh, my family is there, all my family. And I prefer to be in Barcelona. But here in Bucharest I have other family. And this family, it's amazing. What don't you like at Bucharest? When you, the traffic. Is, is very, very difficult, right? Yeah, it's a disaster, and everybody told me, but uh, really there are moments in the day that it's impossible to, to go with car, by car, it's impossible. Did you try the Romanian food? Yes. What uh, do you like? Oh, I like uh, car carne, uh, normal, plateau de carnery, the Beraria, for example, no? Or, I don't know, the, Smartana or uh, Cholan or... Sarmale? Yeah, but Sarmale, oof, it's not my preferred uh, food. Omaliga, Shorich? Mam Putin. And did you taste uh, Romanian, um, Romanian drinks like uh, like uh, Tsuika, for example? Yes. Or, or Palinka? Yes, I, I drink it, but I drank, but no, I don't like it. I prefer uh, beer. <laughs> How are the Romanian people? Who are? Uh, the Romanian people. Well, I think that the people here is, is amazing about the, how they are 
worried for your comfortability here. No, um, I have. Uh, I think that uh, they are um, creating in me one feeling how I am at home. Um, from what I heard, you are a very good friend of Pep Guardiola. Do you speak often to them, to to him? I am a friend of him. I know him, but uh, we don't have this kind of relation. No, a very good friend. No, he spoke to him sometimes, and now, for example, that there are one year like this, we didn't send a message. But sure, when we are together, we can drink uh, and we can eat together. It's not a problem. A strong weapon for the team, beside the coaching staff and the players, were the supporters. What is your relationship with them, and how do you think they they are an extra player when they come to your games? I think that in all the clubs and in all the teams, it's important the supporters. The supporters we are playing for them. What we are doing in the in the floor, when we are doing in the arena, when we are doing, when we are working, we are working for them. They they. They enjoy with us, and evidently, when we are playing and they are close to us, uh, the team play with uh, more energy. You know, it's important. Above all, when we are losing, when we are winning, everybody is happy. But when we are losing, is when we we need more of them. As you probably know, on the first December, when you are playing in Poland against Wisła Płock, is the Romanian National Day. Can you please send a message to Dynamo supporters and Romanian people in Romanian? Da, eu cred că e un zile important pentru ei. Dacă se poate castiga la Płock, eu cred că e un bun cadou pentru ei. Thank you very much. Welcome.